Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is USB Killer 2.0, a device killing USB stick. This is actually an interesting story in that I'm not talking about USB malware or Trojans. Instead, this is a small USB device that can actually damage your computer or any other device that takes USB sticks. A Russian researcher posted about this on his blog where he detailed how he made a very small USB stick. It looks like any other USB storage device that can actually fry your laptop. Without going into all the hardware details, it seems that he just packed a whole bunch of capacitors in this USB stick. When you plug this device into your computer or any other USB plug, it uses the five volt uh, power to charge the capacitors and then dump 220 volts back into the signal wires of the USB device. And this can actually fry the motherboard of your computer. In fact, the researcher created this short video you're watching that demonstrates this particular attack. Now the good news is this probably won't damage your data or your hard drive. This will fry the motherboard and damage your computer, but you can probably recover your data. Now, I really don't suspect attackers will use this very often in the real world. Often, uh, an attacker wants to damage or hurt your data so that you can't recover it. Just damaging your computer while costly is a recoverable attack. That said, perhaps hacktivists might use this in the future to send some sort of message. Now, what are the practical tips here? Well, first of all, you really need to be careful with unsolicited USB devices. You already know that plugging in a USB device that you don't trust may actually introduce malware to your computer. There's lots of techniques bad guys can leverage to force uh, USB devices to automatically run malware on those devices. And with this attack, plugging a USB device into your computer may even be fatal to your laptop. So be very careful about when you plug devices into your laptop. Make sure that you trust where they come from. Anyways, this was an interesting hardware hack. I don't think attackers will leverage it in the real world, but it's yet another reason to remain suspicious of random uh, USB keys you might receive. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.